Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we are taking a look at Andreas Boonzer. Actually, scratch that out. We're taking a look at the Mass Monster, a superimposed, enhanced Andreas Boonzer. This might be what he would look like if he was competing nowadays, and if you can't tell the difference, well, I'll send you the link to the before and after pictures of the video that I made. And he is being compared today, who better to compare him with against than good Vito, Vitaly Yugurnikov. He is pretty much a super enhanced version of Andreas Munzer. As you can see, look at the size of the wheels on this guy. But anyway, before I begin, today's video is brought to you by Photoshop Freelancer, your revolutionary force in photoshopped pictures. Anyway, need to work on my commercials. It looks like Andreas Munzer might even get an edge here, guys. Looks like he's out-muscling Vitaly Yugurnikov. But it looks like Vito has the edge, the waistline, and maybe the clavicle width, the chest. Looks like he might have a better chest. But Andreas, just unbelievable, guys. Let's go through the poses. And you can see here, that Vitaly, he is no slouch even against the super enhanced Andreas Munzer. And this here is a deadly pose, period, for Andreas. Let alone a superimposed version. Look at the wheels on him. They're probably bigger than Vitaly's. Even though, guys, Vitaly bends his knees slightly here in this pose. And it makes his legs look even thicker, I think. Of course, lat for lat, Andreas, blessed with... Just very lowly inserted lats and good Vito. Hey, he's no Dennis Wolf or things of that nature. Somebody with very highly inserted lats, but they're nowhere near as low. So he's gonna get a he's gonna get a loss in the front lats spread against Andreas. Now this is the side chest development. I didn't have a superimposed version or an enhanced version. I guess you could say. Of Andreas, but this is, I guess, a side chest, so I, I guess I do have one. Now again, guys, these guys, these two, level playing field as far as the, the wheels are concerned, and keep in mind, guys, Vitale, these day and age, 2021, he has some of the best legs out there, so for Andreas, guy that competed in the 80s, 90s, more prominently in the 90s, but he did compete in the 80s. For him to be able to compete with these good dudes, of course, it is cheating a little bit. But anyway, turn to the, or go to the side tricep rather. And this is a hoo pose position, pretty much, for Andreas. It's actually an original hoo He's not really, he, he doesn't really have his, his other arm. His hand behind his back. He does have it behind. He doesn't have it snapping his other arm like a proper tr tricep. Like you can see Vitale is holding his other hand. He's holding hands with himself. Anyway, enough of that foolishness. These guys have similarly built triceps. You can see a second little claw coming out there for each guy. But make no mistake about it, Andreas, not only is he super enhanced here, but he is blessed with a little bit lowly and more lower inserted lat, or tricep rather, not lat. He does have lower inserted lat, as we will see in next pose. But just, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the best tricep, side tricep displays that I have ever seen. Now, here is the lat. And you know what, Vitaly? Pretty darn good, guys. It's more, I don't think he has highly inserted lats by any means. I just think that he has a long waistline, which might even help him, guys. Vitaly, he's like an A-bomb in development. No, he's not an A-bomb yet. But once he figures a couple of things out, boom, that's it. Of course, Andreas Munzer in this state is some sort of alien-type weapon with a phaser <laughs> would make an A-bomb look like a little powder puff. Don't kid yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Andreas, <laughs> hate to get a little bit, you know, serious there, but go to the rear double bicep and look at the, the hard density 
of Andreas. Not to mention the size, the extra size added here. But like I said, that thick density. And glutes, I've been a little bit more lenient towards that subject lately. Because they didn't flex them then. Don't kid yourself, Andreas. One of the most dry conditioned men out there. And they really just did not flex. Nor did they really train to get straighted glutes. You can see Vitali, definitely a good set. But everywhere else, Andreas making him look like he's holding a little bit layer of water everywhere. Which is really, it's, it's human. Andreas, he died for his sport. He died getting this dry. Go to the abs and thigh. And this is an area where Vitali, I mentioned earlier, he did have a better waistline. He had a better clavicle width. And it really shows up in a pose like this. Might even have a better set of abs. He's not beating Andreas in the wheels, though. Look at the striations. Just dry, dry, dry. Dry as the Sahara. Dry as the Sahara. But anyway, guys, we'll wrap this one up. This was a dandy. And you know what? I got a lot of requests for a Dorian Yates comparison between the, the super... Enhanced Andreas, but I have I was looking through and, and these pictures of Vitali, he's almost an enhanced version of the original Andreas. These two versions match up very well, very well indeed. And had it not been for Andreas being that much drier, that much more strided than Vitali, then Vitali would have I don't know if he would have got a win, but it would have been much much closer. But you can see here, guys, same basic shape, same basic size, strengths, weaknesses. Of course, like I said, that clavicle width of, of Vitale. See, he's winning in that every single time. But don't kid yourself, this is your winner. The super enhanced, the photoshopped, freelancer version of Andreas Munzer. Or the version that we might see if he competed nowadays. Who could defeat this version, guys? Unbelievable. Anyway, don't take this too seriously, guys. This is a, a fantasy video. It's what we want to see or what we would like to imagine if these guys did compete nowadays. Andreas Munzer. Hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Follow Photoshop Freelancer as well on Instagram. Have a great day.